Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Tech. So now we are going to deal with two subjects, uh, with uh, footnotes and with headers and footers. Uh, first, I'm going to put some text to our screen and later on we are going to uh, describe how all of this works. Okay, in order to uh, put a footnote on some uh, word in your text, immediately after word you want to define, you are going to provide command footnote and you could do it in two different ways so you could do it without options definition and I'm going to split all of this in two rows so like this footnote I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you what we have in here. You see, uh, here we have uh, two footnotes. Uh, one on the word footnote and another on the word one. Uh, and these footnotes are enumerated with one and two. And down here you have our definitions. Or you could do it in another way. You could actually uh, supply with option uh, some uh, value that is going to be uh, shown uh, immediately after word you want to define something like two minuses one and in second case like this two I'm going to save this and you see we have a minus one and minus two okay same down there and now I'm going to uh, remove these footnotes and I'm going to show you how to uh, use headers and footers. So for that purpose I'm going to create section In one of upcoming episodes I'm going to talk uh, about splitting of our documents. For now you would have to take this for granted. Uh, so I'm going to write section and subsection. Subsection and let's say subtitle. Let us copy all of this. After command page break so we want another page and another section on second page another section another subtitle I'm going to save this and let us see what we have so we have my first section subtitle and text and down here we have another section and another subtitle on second page. So now let's see how we could uh, put some header and footer to our pages. So for that we are going to use package. Fancy HDR. Now call command fancy header and footer. And now I'm going to uh, provide the text for our header. So fancy head. And uh, with option we are going to uh, say where actually we want uh, our header to be stored. R on right, C on center or L for a left. Let's say that we are going to put uh, this piece of text to left side. like this. Now we are going to create footer. Once again left, center or right. I am going to use center for footer. Like this. And at the end in order everything to work properly we are going to set page style too fancy. C. 
save it and let's see what we have so this is going to uh, be on the left side and this is going to be on the left side but now what else we can do we could actually uh, deal uh, with uh, pages uh, with uh, even numbers and pages with odd numbers and we could uh, use that for our header and footer how to do so first thing that we have to do we have to uh, provide another option to our document class two sides now we could deal with uh, odd number of pages and even number of pages so let's say uh, that I want to uh, put one text on the even pages and another text on odd pages so what I want to do uh, left even so if page it's even I want this text to be on the left and now I'm going to provide another header command like this and in option I'm going to say write odd so uh, on odd pages we are going to store this text on the right like this you could do the same with the footer but I don't want to uh, do any changes in here for now save it and you see on our first page so a uh, number one it's odd number we are going to have our value on the right as you see right odd and this value this is going to be on the right side like here on second page two it's actually a even number so we are going to have our header on the left side and uh, last thing that I want to show you uh, it's a list of uh, some predefined values and predefined uh, commands uh, for header and footer so instead of using this custom value we could actually do something like this left mark or on the right side we are going to use right mark and for footer we are going to use something like the page save it and now what we have right mark it's uh, literally nothing so we don't have any uh, value in here but left mark for left mark uh, we have actual uh, section title and what if for example you want a section title on every single page you can do that easily but instead of providing left mark and right mark we are going to provide this section and same for the right save it and you see with this section we actually uh, have a number of uh, section in header and uh, what if you want for example a section title on uh, both headers we could use left mark in both of cases save it and now we have another section and my first section and this value the page uh, it's actually page number that is going to be stored uh, in our footer place and uh, one more thing what if you want to remove uh, this uh, header line from your header and to put that header line on footer is this possible yes of course let me show you how to do it so for that we have to renew command with two arguments first it's going to be header ruler width and I'm going to say zero pixels and another renew command footer ruler width and I'm going to say one pixels you could also use millimeters in here if I save this you see now with footers we have this horizontal line and there is nothing below our header place
So guys, that's all about uh, these two subjects. So I truly hope that you like this episode. So please subscribe and see ya.